Kate Bond Middle School, annual Title I parent meeting. At this time, parents, please type your name and your child's name and grade level in the chat box. Again, if you would, please type your name and your child's name and grade level in the chat box. Thank you. My name is Dr. Christopher Murra. I'm the principal at Cape Bond Middle School, and I'd like to take this opportunity to welcome you to our annual Title I virtual parent meeting. Today, we're going to talk about the purpose of this meeting, help explain what Title I is, what it means to our school. We'll review our mission statement, the progress we've made, share some school achievement data. Our school improvement plan will be discussed. We'll also talk about a parent's right to know and teacher qualifications, KBMS Family Engagement Plan, the KBMS School Compact, the Code of Conduct, how you can become more involved in our school, how to report student progress, and our school contact information. So the purpose of this meeting is that federal guidelines require Title I schools to hold an annual parent meeting to explain and discuss the Title I school-wide program and requirements. Kate Bond Middle is a Title I school. So what is Title I? Title I is the largest federal aid program for our nation's schools. The goal of Title I is to provide a high quality education for every child. Title I resources are directed to schools with high poverty levels. Title I programs serve millions of children in elementary and secondary schools each year. Shelby County Schools has roughly 190 schools operating under the Title I program. I'm Melody Harrison, seventh grade assistant principal at Cape Bond Middle. I wanna to talk to you a little bit about what it means to be a Title I school. Being a Title I school means that we receive federal funds to supplement the school's existing programs. These funds are used for things such as identifying students experiencing academic difficulties and providing timely assistance to help the students meet the needs of the state's challenging content standards. We may use these funds to purchase supplemental staff or programs and materials and supplies, or even conducting parental involvement meetings and trainings and activities. Title I funds are also used to recruit and hire and retain highly qualified teachers. Cape Bond Middle School's mission statement. Through our rigorous and engaging academic program, Cape Bond Middle School will produce creative thinkers who can identify and solve complex and relevant problems, communicate well, understand passions, strengths, and challenges, and be responsible citizens in a diverse world. Cape Bond Middle School's overall rating is a 3.2 based on the state of Tennessee's metrics. So our progress at Cape Bond Middle School includes that our school is rated a level four out of five overall in our achievement in English language arts, a level two in math, a level four in science, and a level four in social studies. And below, you can take a look at the exact scores that we achieved from 2017 to 2019 in all four contents. Hello, I'm Taquanya Thompson, the PLC coach. And I'm going to talk to you about our school achievement data. Our Mastery Connect data from the 2019-2020 school year was used to develop the goals and strategies in the school improvement process. Our school achievement data can be found in our school improvement plan, or SIP. The SIP includes the most current data and is reviewed throughout the school year. Our school uses data to align the curriculum to state and district academic standards. Our instructional practices are adjusted based on the findings of the assessment data gathered during the school year. 
school improvement plan. The SIP is a roadmap or unique plan refined annually that defines a school's targeted work to raise achievement for all of its students. Our school goals for the 2020-2021 school year is to increase the ELA, math, and social studies scores by five points. ELA was currently 19%. We want to move to 24%. Math was 18.9%. We want to move that to 23.9%. And social studies was 27.5%. And we want to increase that number to 32.5%. I'm Mr. Saru Jones, sixth grade assistant principal, and I'm here to discuss with you your rights as a parent. Parents have the right to request and receive timely information regarding the professional qualifications of their teachers and paraprofessionals. Parents must be notified if their child is assigned to or taught for four or more consecutive weeks by a teacher who does not meet state certification requirements for the grade level or subject area taught. Parents should be provided information regarding the level of achievement and their child on state required academic assessments. To that extent that it is feasible, information must be in a language that parents can understand. Now for teacher qualifications, teachers are considered highly qualified under the ESSA Act, E-S-S-A Act. If they demonstrate subject knowledge in the core content areas, hold at least a bachelor's degree, and have been issued a license from the State Department of Education, all teachers at K Bond Middle School are highly qualified. Now, we have an engagement plan that we really, really like to work with with our parents. Because remember, this is a community thing. This is your school. K Bond has a responsibility, a special responsibility to our parents and the community by providing opportunities for you to get involved and share the responsibility of promoting success in our children. To ensure that our parents participate in a development and implementation of the school's program, K Bond Middle School will do the following. We will develop jointly with parents a written school level family engagement plan and parent school compact showing how parents, school, and students share responsibilities. The Family Engagement Plan and Parent School Compact will be uploaded on the KBMS website. We will convene an annual meeting at flexible times and invite all parents to attend virtually in order to explain the components and requirements of Title I program. We'll also provide regular and flexible virtual parent meetings, PTO meetings, and family nights in the area of literacy, math, science, and social studies. And lastly, we'll provide parents with timely information about upcoming events and programs through the use of Remind, text, email, and KBMS Facebook pages. Hello, Kodiaks and Kodiaks families. I am Angela Jones, your Family Engagement Specialist for Cape Bond Middle School. I will be presenting the Family Engagement Plan. At Cape Bond Middle School, we value relationships with our students, their families, and the community at large. We know that ongoing meaningful partnerships between all stakeholders work for the betterment of our students. Ongoing communication with parents and guardians supports our students in achieving academic success and experiencing personal growth. In summary, in order to actively and meaningfully engage our families in the academic lives of their students, Cape Bond Middle School pledges the following. Cape Bond Middle School families and school personnel will jointly develop and modify family engagement plan, school parent compact, school improvement plan based on the academic needs of the student body. We will communicate the status of the school, Title I, and upcoming events, as well as communicate with families through phone calls, emails, and virtual conferences. Additionally, we will also communicate in a timely manner to meet the lingual needs of all families. Invite parents and guardians to participate virtually in school-based activities, events, and committees. Virtually host meetings, parent trainings, and committee work. You may also feel free to upload copies of the student handbook, 
this family engagement plan, parent school compact, and parents' right to know document on our school's website. Parents, these are your roles. Virtually attend meetings, programs, and school activities. Participate in at least one parent-teacher conference. Respond to memos, surveys, and questionnaires. Make sure that your child studies at home and completes homework assignments. Voicing your concerns and provide feedback at our virtual parent meetings. Hi, I'm Teresa Schmidt, eighth grade assistant principal. The School Parent Compact is a written agreement that explains how parents, staff, and students share the responsibility for student achievement. Parents can help develop the compact, and you can find a copy of the compact on the KBMS website. Policy 6022 is the student code of conduct that we use to maintain a proper learning environment. You can find a copy of this on our website along with a list of offenses. Finally, parental, parental involvement. We encourage parents to be involved at school. And here's a list of virtual ways that you can be part of our school. Meet the teacher night, parent-teacher conferences, coffee with the principal, town hall meetings, family literacy night, PTO meetings, and family math and science night. As these are scheduled, we will provide a list to you. And then how do we report student progress? Student progress is communicated in several ways. Progress reports, report cards, phone calls, text, and emails. We use Remind, PowerSchool, parent-teacher conferences will also be held on October 1st and March 11th. Here is our school contact information for our principals, assistant principals, PLC coach, instructional facilitator, and family engagement specialist. Please feel free to reach out to us at any time if you have any questions, ideas, or anything you would like to help with. We would appreciate your volunteering. If you didn't get an opportunity to put your name, your child's name, and grade level in the chat box, please remember to do so. We would appreciate having your participation recorded. Thank you so much for joining us, and we will join you now for any questions uh, that you may have. Thank you for being part of the Title I Virtual Parent Meeting.